you started playing Marvel, um, you played a certain game. I think it might have been Smash Bros. at the very beginning. I, I really love Smash Brothers. Um, like, I actually had... I didn't have the Nintendo 64 one, right? Yeah. But I rented that game, like, probably, like, eight times. So you played 64, not Melee or Brawl? No, no, no. I, um, when Melee came out, like, I had Melee before I had GameCube. Right. And I waited so long to get it. But, like... You know, they, I, I didn't know that there was like a bigger scene out there, so like it was just a local thing. Like you weren't aware of this whole competitive aspect. Yeah, I definitely like did all not this know. happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, the fact is that melee has come a long way. The meta game has advanced quite a bit. And um, would you say, just at all, if there was a little bit of suspicion, has playing 64 and having your roots based in that game, spacing wise, has it at all influenced your play style in Marvel? Sure. Um, every every game I play you know, contributes to uh, my success in anything else. Right. Because, like, in Melee, you definitely learn spacing. And one of the most important things is you really don't want to get hit in that yeah, game. That's extremely so true. you'll do anything it takes to dodge. From what I've seen in Marvel 2, you really don't want to get hit, too. I'm still learning about the game, but it seems like y you just kind of accept the combo when it happens to you. And yeah. it's just one hit set up. As long as you don't drop it, it's just like half your health bar gone. Yep, exactly. And in Melee, you have DI, so you can kind of aim yourself where you're going to go, but you can still drop combos and land combos. Zero deaths, you know, yep. Falco pressure and stuff. So, yeah, the games have the parallels. That's why I just w uh, we wanted to talk to you just for now and just, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, how are you feeling about Marvel? Are you doing well? <laughs> I just made top eight winners. Oh. I mean, losers. Nice. Um, I actually did really bad earlier, man. I lost, uh, I forgot who the Strider, I mean, not Strider, freaking Jill player. Yeah. And after that, like, He's gonna have my, my mind bit, yeah. was just, like, really lost. Because it's hard. Uh, coming from losers is, like, the hardest thing, especially in a this big. Yeah, exactly. So much pressure. I know that exact feeling. Like, the thing was that I wasn't I wasn't going to enter. I wasn't going to enter Marvel here. Really? When my pool came up, I left. And uh, I was going to go to the pool. Um, afterwards, right? I, and I've told many people, like, I, I didn't really want to play. Right. But, like, so I'm about to go upstairs and... I meet, all of a sudden, I see Fnatic and Knives. They come downstairs. They're like, yo, where are you going? And I was like, I want to go to a pool. Like, you got to play. I was like, I don't want to play. So you want to go swimming instead of playing your yeah, pool? So go exactly. to the pool instead of the pool. <laughs> so <laughs> afterwards, right, they're talking to me for like 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden, Sherry and, <laughs> and a few people, they straight up just like drag me over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to thank them once I'm winning this entire bracket, man. I... <laughs> Anyway, and, uh, like I, I think the, the the thing was that like so many people wanted me to do good. Right. Like even though when I lost to that guy, there was not one person who chanted for me. Like the there was at least like a good thirty people. Chris, they call me at times the Chris G of melee because the amount of hate I received for my play style is unrivaled. I played Jigglypuff. And oh, I, I love that. And yeah. <laughs> I was actually it's, just, it's nice to finally talk to you because I know exactly what you're going through. No, man. I saw you playing, and <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's something I would do. But I was a Yoshi main, and Yoshi <laughs> sucks, so uh, that, that doesn't work you too well. There was a Yoshi from Japan who came here. Wrecking face, dude. He made top eight, but he's really good. Um, my last question for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. My, yeah, my last question, though, is um, what's your opinion on just melee the fact that melee has now today 12 years after its release after raising ninety-four thousand dollars in the drive after turning over nintendo's decisions to not stream after getting setups here after doing everything we could to get it here now has its largest tournament ever more than double its entrance ever 12 years into its game what does that speak of the game for you no that that's honestly completely great like i wish I was as good as I wanted to be in this game, so I could have definitely entered, you know, competed with everybody. But I like the fact that the community did what they had to do right. to bring this game here. Like, I heard that, the, you know, they didn't have enough setups, so people yeah, scrambling we, yeah. for setups. Apparently, yeah, everyone got there really dramatic, but they were like, it's okay, we got this. So tell me how we had enough time for all singles, more than on time, plus an entire 64 team side tournament, which was completely player run and it worked out perfectly. No, that, that's o'clock. great. I love the that fact that they awesome. do that. I wish other communities, you know, like Third Strike and stuff, I love the game. Third oh, yeah, Strike, I love And I wish that. I could compete in it any major that I go to. Right. But the fact is that no one's coming out for that game. So it's like, you know, I, I accept it. But 10 years later, 
you're still playing this game and the biggest tournament yet. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. insane. That's good. Because there's still little little com 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 communities for like uh, uh, Third Strike and yeah. you know, the other fighting games that are older but still popular. Like Marvel Two. I'm assuming there's no community for that. But yeah, um, yeah, dude. Anyway, thanks for coming. Let me get a quick picture with you really quick, just because I'm a fanboy a little bit. So that's all right. I got one with Cosmo. You know who Cosmo is? The speedrunner. He plays uh, Wind Waker speedruns. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I I've seen that. All right. <laughs> all right. Hey, anyway, thanks, man. Have a good day and good luck, all right? I'm also in uh, top eight winners for Injustice. Oh, uh, dude, are you? Yeah. You play the, the green arrow guy? Yeah. Oh, dude, win it. Win it so, all. So, I'm trying to do my best, man. When they're, che they're cheering against you, no, I'm rooting for you all the time. It's all good. <laughs> Chris G has signed the controller. Anyway, um, I'm now here alone, and there is some kind of wizard man behind us. Um, 